Originally, I had planned to make a video response to Onision. And, you know, it would be the exact same format that you guys are so used to by now. He makes a point, I make a point. He makes a point, I make a point. But, let's face the facts. His latest video is just a regurgitation of everything he has said in his past fucking videos. Seriously, his entire video can be labeled down as this. We do not care about feminism. In fact, a good portion of the people who actually talk about feminism speak of feminism as if the majority of feminists don't fall in line with the definition of feminism. Any halfwit can conclude that if someone doesn't fit the definition of something, then they are obviously not that. But apparently the internet is full of individuals who simply do not understand that feminism is today what feminism has been for some time. And that is the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to equality. Again, read the definition. But of course, definitions aren't good enough. Here's Taylor Swift saying to say you're not a feminist means you think men should have more rights and opportunities than women. Ugh, that Taylor Swift probably actually looked up the fucking definition of the word. That promotes equality between men and women, which again, follows the fucking definition of feminism. It's the dictionary! Oh! Oh! Oh, dictionary! Oh! 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 Dictionary! Oh, you're so unbelievably good! And then he decided to bring up the fact that he made a poll asking his fellow feminists on what they believe in. And about 12,000 people participated in Which is completely pointless because A. Of course you're going to get a result that is, is in total favor, favor of you. And B. Anyone can do this shit. If Sargon of the Cod was to ask his fans on what they think about Onision, the majority of them is going to think that Onision is a total shithead. So, yeah, way to go to prove yourself to be, once more, a fucking tool. Oh, <clears throat> man. Basically, it would be pretty much pointless to address Onision once more, at least in this format, because his entire video is just a repetition of every video that he's made about feminism. It's... it's... ludicrous, the amount of times that he has repeated himself, and he's not defending his position. He's just regurgitating his goddamn arguments. Feminists care about equality, you know, dictionary, dictionary. So, rather than addressing his video entirely, I'm just going to address his point, which is basically three points that he's made in that particular video entitled, Show This to Every Anti-Feminist on YouTube. The very first one is the fact that he uses the fucking dictionary. Like if it's, you know, a reliable source to show that feminists actually care about equality. It's all about equality. Equality, 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 equality. Yeah. Let's start with the fact that, yes, technically speaking, by definition, you are a feminist. But... The problem is, is that even if I were to call myself a feminist, I would not be a quote-unquote true feminist. A bunch of feminists will tell me that I am not a true feminist because I dare to criticize the wage gap myth. I would dare to criticize the fact that we live in a rape culture. If I were to criticize any of the golden feminist rules to not criticize, I'd be labeled as a total fucking bigot. And possibly an MRA, who's, in this, who's trying to disguise himself as a feminist and trying to get laid with the ladies. It's just, it's just fucking ridiculous. We bring up double standards such as on how uh, men spend more prison time than that women for the exact same crime. These feminists keep their mouth shut. 
and they outcried, HARASSMENT! Either that or they'll say, oh, well, that's a feminist issue too. And do absolutely nothing about it. And you know, the funny thing is, is the things that feminists are fighting for. One of the things is, you know, we need more female emojis. Yeah, that's the thing. And let's see, not to mention that, oh yeah, Onision, you seem to take a liking with Beyonce. Hmm, I do believe back in uh, 2013, Beyonce was in a video called Ban Bossy. Ah, funny on how that works. We really want to call a group, you know, this group known as feminism that's in for equality when they complain about things like on how men are spreading their legs in the fucking subway you know despite the fact that you know men have balls and they don't want to be you know crushed together yeah think about that on Nisian. He bring up the fact that you know he made a poll asking his fellow feminists to basically vote and it is as useful as a donkey sucking on my dick. I mean, anyone can make a fucking poll, Onision. Anyone can participate in a fucking poll. So, there's that. You know, Sargon of a Cog can make a poll right now. And he'll get as many as 30,000 30, people, you know, voting. And this is my favorite part. Then he goes on Google, look up pictures involving pro-feminist quotes from famous celebrities. Really, Onision. Well, two can play this game, okay? I have, right here on my laptop, 23 quotes from feminists that will make you rethink feminism. Here's the first one. I feel that man-hating is an honorable and viable political act. That the oppressed have a right to class hatred against the class that is oppressing them. Robin Morgan, Miss Magazine, Ag uh, Miss Magazine editor. The nuclear family must be destroyed. Whatever is the ultimate meaning, the breakup of families now is objectively revolutionary process. Linda Gordon. I want to see a man beaten to a bully pope with a high heel shoved in his mouth, like an apple in the mouth of a pig. Andrew Dorkin. Since marriage comes through slavery for women, it is clear that women movement must concentrate on attacking this institution. Freedom for women cannot be won without an, ob an abolition of marriage. Cheryl Corlin, the leader of the feminist organization now. Marriage is an institution developed from rape as a practice. Andrea Dorkin. The institution of sexual intercourse is an and it's anti-feminist. Tia Grace Antixon. Excuse me. Rape is nothing more or less than a conscious process of intimidation by which all men keep all women in a state of fear. Susan Brownmiller against our will, page 6. When women reaches blank with a man, she is only collaborating with a patriarchal system, eroticizing her own oppression. Sheila Jeffries. Politically, I call it rape whenever a woman has sex and feels violated. Catherine McKinnon. The most famous and powerful I get, the more power I have to hurt men. Sharon Stone. The question is, is Onision trolling? because he's just repeating the exact same arguments over and over again. I kind of miss the time where Onision tries to debate a couple of people on the internet. Fails greatly. But you know what? I can sense that Onision is going to plan to, uh, you know, debate some folks. Again. And you know what? I challenge Onision to a debate. He probably won't respond, but hey, you know, I'm just leaving it out there. Because clearly, this guy's a total fucking moron. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer, and keep gaming on.